It's my birthday, setting goals for the next year. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Fabulous Life 101. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification right now. Yes, today is my birthday. Lots of treats, lots of messages. Got a free Starbucks this morning and a bag full of goodies from family. And I got this incredible goodie bag with a picture of a cat that's similar to my Sansa. And Jawbreaker. Been wanting this palette for a while. Thank you, Jennifer. And then again, I got the 24 karat highlighter palette. And isn't that cute? A little, it's it's actually eyeshadow. Finally, I've got my little kitty Mira. See, it's the Moon Kitty, and uh, my first baby Luna. She we lost her last year. We, we, she was the Moon Kitty. She was a tuxedo, but this all black kitty reminds me of my second baby Prince. So. <laughs> Lots of goodies to explore. Birthdays also represent a new start, much as the new year does. So it's a great time to set new goals. So taking my journal, I like to start my day with gratitude. Write all the things I'm normally thankful for and also focus on some of the accomplishments over the past year. Now this has probably been the strangest year that any of us have faced but in many ways there have been blessings in disguise. It provided an opportunity to reassess the direction of my business, explore new avenues, as well as to focus on health and fitness goals. Last year this time, my daughter and I were planning a trip to Europe. We were gonna fly out in May, spend about two weeks exploring three countries. Food, art, culture, shopping. We were mapping out our plans. Then the unexpected happened and everything was postponed. Looking at it all realistically, we're now anticipating a 2022 trip. But there were several things on my goal list that I did accomplish, so that's reason to celebrate. Getting back to setting goals. This is the perfect time to organize my thoughts, write down a long list of things I'd like to do this year. This list will include personal accomplishments, business accomplishments, travel, purchases, from small to grandiose. So I'm going to start just by making a list. I always make my list in the present tense. I have, I am, never I want. Then after reading of the list, I decide on the most important things and write more details. I read and reread. I write affirmations about these things. I take a little time to visualize them. And then I put the journal down and get on with living in the present. Is there a special day of the year that you like to spend setting goals? Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. By the way, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications. Of course, please show some love and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light. Yeah.